Hello and welcome to another Ask Nera to Joy video. I have a new model here with me today and her name is Estrella. And I'm going to be cleansing off her skin. I'm going to bring the Maggie lamp over and have a look at her skin and see what we are going to be doing today. I wanted to bring in a, a different type of model today and start moving on to a more mature skin, working on the jowl area and the neck. So this is something that I wanted to focus on today. We have a great new neck kit and I'm going to be giving that to Estrella to be using at home so that we can really see how much her neck improves over the next few treatments that we do on her. So it's going to be, it's nice to be moving on to an, a different type of model and uh, in Estrella's uh, skin, we're going to be talking about shortly and going over some of the different things that we're gonna be addressing with her. So we're going to get started. I'm going to cleanse off her skin. I'm using the K gel cleanser. So I'm removing the K cleanser now with my disposable sponges. Okay, so we've cleansed off Estrella's skin. I'm going to put some goggles over her eyes and bring the Maggie lamp over. I'm going to have a look at her skin. What we can see with Estrella's skin is that she has had an oily skin uh, growing up and she is, um, she's got quite large pores on her skin right now. Her skin is flat in color. It's a little bit surface dry and you can see that when you do this, you've got these very, very fine little lines that's not really wrinkles, but it's just that her skin is so surface dry. Again, the surface dryness is a huge problem here for so many people. And the oil, you can just really see the dehydration. It's really quite, um, quite a lot up here on her forehead. So again, another really dehydrated skin we're working on today. I'm gonna to move this Maggie lamp down onto the cheeks. And again, the skin is really quite dehydrated. You can see these fine little lines here that are not really wrinkles, but again, it's just dehydration. She has a little bit of, uh, a little bit of blotchiness, not too much on her skin, but just a, a small amount, larger pores around the nose area as well, and, uh, and up onto the lip. But generally, you know, was a much oilier skin in her teens, growing up into her 20s, 30s, I'm sure. Um, now her levels are drier, her skin is drier, her outer layer is dry. But now we want to work on the tone in her skin and we want to really help with the tone in strengthening her skin, strengthening her levels in her skin and helping with that neck area as well. So just a little bit blotchy, not, not too bad. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's one thing, it's great sort of having an oily skin growing up in that it does save the skin from a lot of wrinkles. And um, so we, we certainly, you know, don't have a lot of wrinkles, but we do have a lot of surface dehydration. And that's those very fine little wrinkles that you see there on her cheek that are not really wrinkles but they look like very fine wrinkles just because her skin is so dehydrated. So we're really going to strengthen her skin, we're going to tighten her skin, and that's what we're going to be doing today. She doesn't have much, her, her pores are clean, she doesn't have a lot of extractions on her skin. Uh, it's a, a clean skin, but it's just lacking um, hydration and it's also lacking tone. So those are the things we're going to be doing on Estrella today. So we've cleansed the skin with a K cleanser. I've got the exfoliating mask. I've mixed a little bit of healing gel with the, with the exfoliating mask and I'm just going to use it on her skin now. It is going to be a little stingy on her. It does have a little glycolic in it. It has a papaya enzyme and a little lemon peel powder, a little bit of chamomile. It's uh, a really nice exfoliant, gets rid of that dryness and that's so badly what uh, most people need is that they need something that's going to get rid of that surface dryness because I think just about in every video I've done, everyone has been surface dry. It's a huge problem, especially living here in California where we have little moisture in the air and uh, a lot of dryness on the skin, surface dryness. 
So I've talked about this before, the difference between hydrating and nourishing is nourishing is more for a skin that is a drier skin, but we want everybody, including a more oily skin, to be hydrated. Because if a skin is not hydrated, it is not going to heal properly. It's really important to hydrate the, the skin. And by hydrating the skin, the skin will heal quickly and it will stay dewy and pretty looking. Okay, so we've worked the exfoliating mask into the skin. I'm, um, I only leave it on a couple of minutes and I'm constantly working it into the skin, getting under any fine facial hair, which Australia does not have any fine facial hair, uh, but we are working it into the skin just to sort of really get it in there, just to eat away at that dryness on top so that then when I go to put on my treatment products hereafter, the skin is going to absorb them in a, a much better way. So we're taking off the exfoliating mask. Whenever anything's a little burning and stingy on the skin, you don't want to use anything hot to remove it. You want to use cool, uh, cool water to take it off. Because usually when you add water to something, if it has a little bit of glycolic, it activates it and it makes it sting more. So it's really important that you don't use hot water in removing anything that has glycolic or any of your acids in it. That's why with uh, enzymes and different types of peels, that if you put steam, you turn steam on and you have it going, it activates it and it'll make it stronger. So it's really important to, I don't use steam when I'm using the exfoliating mask because I don't want it to be any stronger, but uh, steam will activate it. We have exfoliated uh, Estria's skin and we're now going to put a little bit of healing gel on. Again, I always do the healing gel after the exfoliating products because it, the skin is still a little bit, ten, a little bit tingly. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to really work on the tone here. So we're going to do a lot of neck massage, a lot sort of up in this area here and along the jawline. I just readjusted the headband because I, uh, I want to do a lot of massage and I don't want little bits of hair to get in with my fingers. So we're putting on a little bit of the Q-flavonoid, our famous Q-flavonoid that I use all the time because of how it works on the skin and then how it heals and nourishes the skin. It really uh, gives the skin a lot of nutrients. It has vitamin K in it, it has arnica, it just supports the skin and it's so wonderful. And the reason I don't use a lot of alpha hydroxy acids in my treatments, uh, other than the ones I put on the skin and then take off, but the reason I don't use the AHA serums or the AHA creams is because they're a little tingly on the skin. So they're great and really important to use for home care because they stimulate fibroblast cells. And AHAs are a really important part of my regimen. I use them every morning and I use my retinols at night. But if I use retinols, it doesn't sting on the skin. And because I've already used an exfoliant, her skin's already a little bit tender. So I'm not going to work in a, and massage with an alpha hydroxy acid. I'm going to use it as my home care and, uh, and that's the, the AHA's um, moisturizers and the serums. So I don't use them so much in treatment. Occasionally in the winter months when I'm doing, after I do extractions on somebody and if their skin is really dry, I'll use an AHA cream uh, rather than the fruit complex the professional products. Um, sometimes I just don't want to go that strong with a, an AHA, but I would need to use an AHA because I want to shrink the pores after extractions. So I'm going to use a, a, a retail product which has AHA in it, so it's still going to help tighten up those pores by stimulating the fibroblast cells, but not be as strong or uh, maybe as drying as a fruit complex or the normalizing formula. So, um, so I do use uh, AHAs in that case, but again, it goes on the skin. It doesn't stay on the skin. It goes on after I've done extractions and I just work it in for a minute and then take it off and then put a mask on. So here we are, we've put a retinol, we've cleansed the skin, we've done a 
exfoliating product. I put a little bit of healing gel on. I put a little bit of my Q flavonoid on. Uh, this one here is a retinal formula, which is a professional product. And I'm going to work that into her skin. And I'm going to use a little bit of the end the night cream. And we're going to uh, a little bit of the uh, my what I call my massage cream, but it's actually a hydrating mask, which is a really nice product. And that's what I like to massage the skin with. So I'm using a little bit of the end moisturizer here, and we're going to work that in over the uh, the A retinal, the retinal formula. We're going to do a good massage on her skin. I'm going to really work in and work around her jawline and her neck area. So we're going to be sort of really giving that area a boost. I'm going to add a little bit of my hydrating mask to it so that it uh, gives me um, a good slip for my massage. So we're going to be working a lot around the neck and a lot around the jaw here and working in these treatment products. Massaging quite firm. The only area you're not going to be doing it too firm is directly on the neck right here. Up under the chin is okay, but just not down there on the, that lower neck. Now as we're doing this massage, we're doing it quite heavy in the upward and very light as my hands go down there. So much heavier in the upward motion. Okay, so we've done a quite a lot of heavy massage just around this jaw area in particular, uh, on the neck as well. And now what I'm going to do, what's really important to do when you're working on, on keeping the skin firm and toned, is that we're going to do an AHA on her skin, which is a fruit complex number one. It's gonna be a little bit tingly on her, but we're gonna put a fruit complex on because we want to stimulate those fibroblast cells and really help to tighten and tone the skin. I'm going to be using it down onto the neck area as well. The neck area is a more sensitive area, so it is one that we couldn't do or I would not do a fruit complex number two, whereas I could layer and do a fruit complex number one on her face first and then layer with a fruit complex number two, which is a slightly a slightly higher um, uh, AHA. But on her neck, we would only do the fruit complex number one. She's asleep. <laughs> We're putting on the fruit complex number one. It's gonna be a little stingy, putting it all over her face. Fruit complex number one again, we're putting it down onto the neck area. When you're putting it on the neck area, you want to make sure that you just lift the neck slightly, push down on the, the decollete, so you can really sort of get into any little lines that form when we lie down on the neck area. I'm going to leave that on a couple of minutes. Okay, so we've got the fruit complex on here. Uh, as I said, I could do a fruit complex number two over the top of the fruit complex number one and just uh, make it a little bit stronger on her face. As it is the first time that I'm seeing Estrella, I'm just going to use the fruit complex number one. She also has it on her neck and we've left it on a few minutes and that's really important to use an AHA when you are working on tightening and toning the skin because it's what helps stimulate fibroblast cells which helps to keep the skin strong and sturdy and shrink those pores. So we do have a, a, a decent size pore on her skin which of course you know the, the t more we tighten the skin the smaller the pore is going to be. I'm removing it with cool sponges and water and just before we go to put on the mask, I'm just going to reposition the little headpiece so that it doesn't, the mask doesn't get in the hair too much. So the mask I'm going to be using is the firming mask and uh, it's a great mask and it's firming and toning. So we're going to put a little bit of healing gel on because we've just taken off that fruit complex number one so the skin will still be a little bit tingly and we're putting the firming mask on. 
Now again, we want to sort of really get it into the neck. So it's important to put the head back and get those little lines, those vertical lines there in the neck and work that mask into those, those lines. So we're going to leave this mask on for a few minutes now and we'll be back shortly to take it off. So what we're doing is it's important the firming mask stay on for about eight minutes and it is a little yellow in colour because it also has a little retinol in it. So whenever you're dealing with anything to do with the skin, tightening and toning the skin, you need to work with ingredients that really stimulate the fibroblast cells and that is your alpha hydroxy acids and it's also your retinols. So this one here is especially, it's a firming mask, therefore it has retinol in it. And it's a really nice mask to use if you're wanting to really, again, give that skin a lift, give it a boost and tighten it up. So it's nice to use it a couple of times a week or if you're going out on a, uh, an important, to an important event, if you use a firming mask, it's gonna really give the, the skin a nice finish and a nice toned, lifted, without making it look dehydrated and dry. It's gonna give it that nice dewy toned look and that's wonderful, that's what we all want to be walking around with every day. So we've removed the firming mask. I'm going to put a little bit more of the Q flavonoid on her skin now. And this is, uh, it's late over here at night. So this is how she'll be going to bed with this on. I'm going to put again more of the Q-flavonoid, a little bit of the retinal formula, and uh, I'll be sending her home that way to, to sleep. I'm going to be giving her a, the neck kit because the neck kit is about toning and firming the neck. And so many of us, once you get to a certain age, the neck is such a problem. So it's one of the areas that really ages faster than anywhere else, the eyes and the neck. And it is, uh, it's really nice when they have treatments designed especially for the neck because the skin is different on the neck. You can peel the face and you can do a lot of really different interesting things that you cannot on the neck because the skin is more sensitive on the neck area. So you have to have things especially designed for the neck so that they're buffered in a way where they don't irritate. If you try using some of the retinols and some of the other products that you use on your face, on your neck, whether it be an AHA or a retinol, then often you can get irritation on the neck area. So it's really important that you have something designed especially for the neck region. So we're putting a little bit of the retinol formula on now. And she's had a real boost. She's had a real boost today with retinol. It was in her treatment serum that we massaged into the skin. It's been in her mask. And now we're putting it back on her skin again to go to sleep with it on. I'm gonna be using a little eye gel around her eyes. I'm gonna put that in a complete circle around her eye. No double dipping. Other end of the Q-tip. And then she's all done. So this was a different treatment that we're, we're doing today. This one here is about tightening and toning and lifting. And because Australia's does have enlarged pores on her skin too, it's really gonna to help to shrink her pores. So I'm, as I said, I'm giving her the kit to start working on her neck. The neck area often gets a little bit dark in color and it's, uh, it is, uh, Australia's neck is a little bit darker too than her face because a lot of the time we are protecting our face with sunscreen. Uh, when you're driving through the, the, sun, the windshield, you get a lot of sun hitting this neck and this decollete. So it's often an area that is a little bit darker in color and uh, certainly um, not as well protected as the face. So we're going to send her home with that kit to start using on her neck. I'm gonna put a little bit of a moisturizer over top of this now as the retinol dries into her skin. And I'm just using the end night cream. So the big bonuses for Australia's skin tonight was that we, we exfoliated her skin. We also worked in some treatment serums, some retinols. We also did a, a fruit complex number one, which is an AHA complex of your glycolic, lactic, malic, tartaric, and citrus that helps to stimulate those fibroblast cells and 
all the levels within the skin because of the different molecules within an alpha hydroxy acid. They're all different molecular size and weight. It goes to different levels in the skin. And this is all about helping to tighten and tone the skin. So the skin, it certainly is not, doesn't have those little fine lines that it had when we first started. The dehydration line, she still has a little bit there, but it is significantly better than when we first started. So we will uh, we'll see Australia when she comes back in a month and we'll see what improvement that we've got on her neck and around her jawline because uh, we're going to be massaging and I'm going to be showing her how to work and massage this neck with your knuckles. It's a very nice way to do this jawline and then the, the motions of the putting on the neck cream, which she'll be doing at home as well. So we've completed Australia's treatment today. It was a treatment for boosting and tightening and toning the skin, working on her neck area, doing a nice the, the nice massages that she's going to continue at home. And we look forward to seeing her back in a month to see her progress. So thanks for joining and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.